And at this time, I'd like to welcome, and we are very honored to have the former Secretary of Agriculture, Sonny Perdue, is joining us via Zoom to start us out with prayer this morning. Mr. Perdue, welcome this morning. Good morning, farmer friends. I really wish that I could be with you in person, but uh, by technology, we are going to join together in the spirit of the Lord together as well. Uh, I know farmers come together. We're independent crowd. We love to be independent, but what God wants from us is dependence. I remember the words of Habakkuk as he was warning against the wrath of the God to come. And uh, we can recognize this as we fight with drought and hail and uh, floods and all the things that ravage sometimes our opportunity to make a living for our family and feed the world. Let me read these words prior to my praying about Habakkuk because we're here to exalt our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He says in Habakkuk chapter three, though the fig tree should not blossom, nor the fruit be on the vines, nor the produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food, the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God, the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's, and he makes me tread on high places. Regardless of our current situation and the dependence upon our Lord Jesus Christ today, we can exult in him, in his wonderful creation, and in the noble cause of the He's given us the opportunity to provide vital food for mankind. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, as we come before you humbly today, we acknowledge our utter and absolute dependence upon you each and every day. Father, we thank you that you called us to a noble cause of feeding your people, feeding mankind, Lord. And thank you for the men and women who do that day in and day out irrespective of the challenges that they face on an ongoing basis. God, I lift up all these people to you and I thank you for them and millions around the world like them. God, that you would bless them, that you would give them deep and abiding faith, Father, in your watch care. Lord, help them to know like Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Give us a dependence upon you for God, for we know that you are the only person that can make it rain you're the only person that can make that soil fertile, Father. Now, while we work and labor to do all that we can in the right way, it is you, God, who gives us the harvest. And God, we pray harvest for souls today. For those that are in this room and those at this convention, Father, I pray that they would come to know the utter dependence that we have upon you, not only for our crops, but for our absolute salvation from this world. God, we thank you for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who came to this earth freely, voluntarily, and died on a cross that our sins may be covered. God, we thank you for that liberty that we have in Christ, and we pray today that you would bless this group, be with them, lift them up, give them a spirit that may radiate throughout this convention that even strangers would come up and say, what is that smile on your face? And we can gladly tell them, it's the spirit of the Lord that resides in my heart, and I'd love to share him with you. Father, give us a great day. Be with these folks. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with them. Thank you for the calling you've given to all of us to be growers of, of your people, growers of your product, and growers of food, but mostly growers of the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, our Savior. Amen.